Today, I want to share with you our vision for the future of work within the Air Force. As part of that, I'm going to show you a digital workspace experience that helps organize, guide, and automate work. Today, if you're an airman, chances are that you log on to a variety of different systems at a variety of different locations, and then the applications that, and resources that you access may vary depending on the location. And this workspace brings all of those different elements together to create a consistent user experience that's easy to use, but also secure at the same time. The Air Force recently did a study that showed that about 20% of everyone's time is spent being unproductive due to a poor end user experience. On the surface, it doesn't really seem like a huge problem, but if you really think about it, it actually is. So for every 10,000 users, that means that you're losing nine years of productivity every single week. If you think about that broader, that means that you're losing over 400 years of productivity every single year, and that's just 10,000 users. So let's walk through how we kind of cut into that productivity gap using our workspace. So on the left, left hand side here, you see a couple of different categories of different resources that I can access using my workspace. The first is applications, so let's dig into that. I have different types of applications that I can access. I have uh, Windows applications like Office 365. I have web-based applications like Jira. I have SaaS applications like Google Workspace. And I also have access to Linux applications as well that I can actually uh, uh, access from within this workspace. So as an end user, it doesn't matter where I'm logging in from. It doesn't matter what location or device. I have this consistent user experience no matter what. I, I come to the one place to access everything. Now, uh, there's other secure, there's other benefits of this approach um, from a security perspective. This now means that we can provide single sign-on. As an end user, I don't have to log into, I don't have to memorize a bunch of uh, passwords from, from, for different applications. So from, from an end user perspective, that makes me happy. And from a security perspective, things are more secure because now I don't have to worry about my end users uh, uh, writing down all of their passwords on sticky notes that they're just gonna paste to the side of their monitor. So, so that's one benefit from a security perspective. Uh, we also have additional benefits from a security perspective. Now we can wrap, we can wrap additional security controls around these applications. So for example, I can block copy and paste Right, so now I can prevent data from being exfiltrated out of our uh, out of our system. I can uh, deter people from taking screenshots. I can actually watermark all of my applications with the IP address and username of the users to help to deter that type of behavior. I can block it all together. I can prevent screenshots from being taken. I can also protect against malware that will uh, that try to do key logging. Right, so um, I can I can I can do all those different things. I can enact all those different security controls because I have implemented a digital workspace that's not only easy to use for my users but also super super secure. So that, those are some of the capabilities that we have with apps. Let's look at desktops and walk through a couple of use cases there. So one of the common use cases that we see for this is access to desktops uh, on Zipper and access to desktops on a nipper. And traditionally, users have different computer systems that, you, that they use to do that. Oftentimes at their desk, um, in the office. Well, using this digital workspace, I can access those resources from the same location. I'm still keeping these, net, these networks separate, right? Um, um, secure. Uh, and um, and uh, uh, at the same time, making it easy for my users to access those resources on both of those networks. This also extends to different data centers and different clouds. So here I have an on-premises desktop, for example. So this could be within my local data center, um, or I could have um, desktops located in Cloud One or Best Bin even, right? So, so and these desktops don't have to be in a traditional data center. They can be uh, on a cloud somewhere. So that's how we, we try to try to organize desktops. We make it super easy for users to access desktops regardless of where they are. And then the third sort of resource that we help organize is files. So we can bring network shares to the forefront to make it easy to access. Uh, and then um, as more and more customers adopt cloud technologies, 
we integrate with other services like OneDrive for Business. And again, we're wrapping some additional security controls here as well, um, in addition to implementing single sign-on. Um, so, uh, so we keep things uh, as secure as possible while keeping it easy, easy for the user to use. So that's how we organize work. The second thing that we do is we help guide work. In the middle here, you're going to see a feed familiar to what you would see in Facebook or Twitter. But this isn't my social media feed. This is my work feed. So what this feed is doing is actually talking to many of the applications that I talk to, that I use on a regular basis, you know, like ServiceNow, ADP, Google Workspace, and Jira. And it bubbles up information and alerts that are important to me. So I don't have to log into these applications individually. I don't have to dig through email to, um, to, to follow up on things that are important. I just have access to all of those things right here within my Citrix workspace. So let's walk through a couple of things that I can do here. Because the third thing I'm going to show you is how we help automate work. One of the things that I that I have to do on a regular basis is I have to approve licenses for for end users, and usually I receive those alerts through uh, through ServiceNow. Traditionally, I'm going to have to log into ServiceNow, uh, dig through the menus in ServiceNow to uh, to get to to the section for me to approve this request, and then I pull up the 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 the, the request to approve it. So there's multiple steps that I normally have to take in order to take action on something like that, something like a, a user license request. Well, within the workspace, I just hit the approve button, right? And it's done. There's nothing else I need to do. I didn't have to log in, didn't have to log to dig through menus or anything like that. Uh, let's take a look at another example, leave, right? Approving leave is something that I have to do on a, on a pretty regular basis as well. And normally I would have to log into ADP, dig through the menu, same deal, right? Um, I can just take action on it here, or I can click on the notification and look at more details um, about this particular uh, request, right? And then hit approve. So those are just a couple of examples of some of the things that we can help um, guide and automate work, right? So we, I just showed you how we can bring uh, applications and desktops that are located in different locations, different clouds, and how we aggregate and organize all of those things together within a single workspace. I showed you how we help guide work uh, with our feed of everything that's important to you at that period in time. And then also showed you how we help automate work by preventing some of those additional logons, um, by reducing some of the complexities of some of the cumbersome applications that may be in place at the Air Force, um, and how we help kind of provide a, a security blanket, right, around all of those different capabilities. Thank you for watching and appreciate your time today.